<laughs> Open job. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. My name is Roland and today we'll be cooking homemade tofu in aromatic sauce. So let's start cooking. First, we'll start off with making the egg tofu. I'm using seven eggs over here. Add in half a teaspoon of salt. Mix them up well. After you've done this, add in half a liter of unsweetened soya bean milk. Slowly mix them in. Stirring while you pour the Soya milk in. Okay, so once this is done, we'll transfer this into a steaming tray. Line a piece of baking paper onto your steaming tray. Dab a little bit of water onto the steaming tray so that the paper can actually stick onto the tray and it won't pop up that easily. Using a sieve, we will sieve the egg and soya bean mixture into the steaming tray. Gently pour the egg mixture into the tray. Just use a spoon or fork and then just press the rest down. For whatever that can't go down is fine. We we'll just leave it and just put this aside. If there's any bubbles, just remove it. Using a piece of aluminum foil, you'll make a cover and cover the egg mixture. Make sure that the shining part is facing down. So place it down and wrap it up. Once this is done, we will steam this for 30 minutes or until firm. So we will go and steam this now. In a pot of boiling water or wok of boiling water, we will steam the egg mixture. Put the egg mixture in and we will steam this for 30 minutes. I will see you back in a while. 30 minutes is up, let's have a look. Right, turn it off first. We will loosen up the Foil, and then we have a look inside to check whether it's done or not. Well, very simple to know whether it's done or not. All you got to do is just use a bamboo satay stick, just put it in. If it come up cleanly like this, that means it's done. Okay, so now we'll just take this out and let it cool down before we cut this up. The tofu has cooled down already, so we just need to take this out. So, very simple, just get a tray, put it in like this and turn this up this way and voila just remove the paper carefully and there you go one beautiful piece of egg tofu now we just need to pat this dry and then we'll cook this i'll divide this into four pieces and i'll make four different dishes out of this tofu so just get a piece of a uh, kitchen towel and lightly dab it to remove the excess moisture the reason I'm doing this is because one of the dishes that I'll be doing, I need to deep fry this. So to prevent splatter, I need to remove the excess water. So once you're done with this, okay, what we need to do is just to divide this into equal portions. So I'm just using a dough cutter to divide this tofu up. Just put it approximately in the middle, somewhere around here perhaps. And just gently glide it down. There's two pieces and we just need to divide this into quarters now. So somewhere like this, just gently push it down and the same for the other side. Just gently push it down. Okay, so when this is done, we'll fry one of the pieces now. We are going to pan fry the egg tofu now. Heat up a pan, add in sufficient oil. Swirl the oil around. We will fry the tofu at medium heat. So once the oil is hot, we will put in the egg tofu. This is approximately 200 grams. We want to brown the tofu on all sides. We will take approximately a minute or so, one to two minutes on each side to have a little bit of golden brown. 
so that when you fry this or you braise this, the tofu will not break that easily. Remember, use medium to medium low heat for this. We don't want to burn the tofu, we just want to brown it on all sides. Along the way, you have some splatter, basically because the tofu is a little bit on the wet side. Of course, you can use a paper towel to get it drier. Something like this color will be great. So we'll just brown this on all sides until we have this kind of color. The smell of egg tofu is really, really fantastic. So when you have fried the egg tofu to be this color, we'll remove it from the oil. We are going to fry the rest of the ingredients now. So in the heater pan, add in a little bit of oil. Even remaining oil from the tofu is fine inside here. Just a little bit more will be fine. I'll add in four pieces of rehydrated dried chili. I've taken out the seed so that it would not be too spicy. Put them in. We will fry this at medium heat because we don't want to burn whatever we are putting inside this uh, pan itself. Four cloves of garlic, chopped up, put it in. I have over here also, 15 grams of shredded dried cuttlefish. I've just washed this, I'm going to put them in. This will give this dish a very beautiful aroma. It smells really, really good now. Now we're going to add in some water, one cup of water. Into here, we'll add in two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Give it a good stir, mix it up well. We'll add in also one tablespoon of brown sugar. I'll be adding in 80 grams of eggplant, sliced thinly like this. Cook them for a little while first. Now we'll add in 80 grams of okra, sliced thinly also, put them in. And now we'll put in our egg tofu. Stir them around. We'll put the lid on and let it cook for approximately 5 to 8 minutes. It is approximately 7 minutes. It's more or less done. Let's just stir this around. Okay, it looks fantastic. Smells really, really good. Let's just give this a little taste. Wow, really, really good. Now I just need to darken out the color. I'm adding in one tablespoon of dark soya sauce. And also half a teaspoon of salt. So now I just need to thicken this up a little bit. I'm just going to thicken this up with a little bit of cornstarch solution. Just a little bit more. Okay, the dish is done. Let's serve this now. The dish is done. Let's have a taste. Make sure you dip a lot of this sauce. This sauce is really, really good. Mm. The aromatics that's coming out from the sauce is really fantastic. You taste a little bit of spiciness on the dry chili, and yet the sliced cuttlefish is giving this whole dish a whole new meaning of greatness, I would say. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our dish. Do click like on our video, and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. I think I'm not enough. Oh, really good. I like the cuttlefish taste inside here. Very nice. Reminds me of the dry bak kut Mmm. Can I get a bowl of rice? Rice.